She also voices Ryomo Shime in Ikitosen, which is like a very cool character. And some other stuff. She, she's, she's good. She's good. I like her a lot. So that's definitely one of the reasons why I pick Japanese voice acting. Okay, that's all done. Let's continue. I did fiddle around a bit with the settings of the graphics and the and some other stuff. I also tried to work the game with uh, mouse and keyboard and it kind of works alright. It's just for some reason when it comes to a slow paced uh, third person shooters I really just uh, prefer the controller. Like I've been playing a lot of Warframe, right? I did talk about that last time. And I play Warframe on mouse and keyboard and that game is so fast you definitely want to be using mouse and keyboard. When it comes to, I mean, when it comes to a game like this, I think I'm just I just prefer using the controller. I think it also makes the encounters a little bit more tense because you know you you're kind of gimped with your aim, so I think it's a bit more exciting. Anyway, so okay, what I want to do for her, what I want to do first here is that there's some there are some. Uh, which we we'll call it unsolicited uh, denizens in front of my house. So we gotta clear the porch, and <clears throat> the best way to clear the porch is a shotgun. If uh, American movies taught me anything, so let's take a look at this. We got some undesirables over here. Hopefully, uh... oh wait a minute, there's the hydrant. Okay, we could do this. Uh, we could do this the the old-fashioned redneck way, or we could do this a little bit smarter. A little bit smarter. I'm not necessarily saying that rednecks are stupid, but... Old rednecks, I mean old people in general, they tend to go for the easy uh, solutions. And they tend to not think about things. So let's, uh, let's think about this. We're not old. Right? Well, at least not too old, I guess. So I can electrocute two people at the same time, so let's do it. Oops. Okay. Don't push R2, push R1. Get up! Stop and switch it! Get up and exercise. Okay. Sure work. One and two. Okay. That did work. I do want to use the shotgun though, because the shotgun sound effect is so, so damn good. Man, the juice is all the way over here. Damn, that's interesting. There's more dudes. More undesirables. I keep pushing R2. Why, why, that? why do I do that? Get out! Shimmy! Damn, do you hear that sound effect? Whew, it's so good. The shotgun sound is so damn good. Man, I wonder if, if it's... The game is too loud or not? It's too. It's quiet on my headphones. Oh, there's more dudes. I forgot about this guy. Or woman. Stomp. Stop the yard. Okay. Hmm. I guess the shotgun maybe not. So you you can do headshots with this that completely obliterate the brains and the head of the enemy. But if you don't hit it properly. It still knocks them away, so we can finish them off. I don't know what that is over there. We will investigate that, but not just yet. We'll have to wait for it a bit more. See that dude over there? See the hands? So cars that are shaky probably have dudes underneath. Get down. <laughs> Man, the way he stomps is <laughs> so funny. Oh, the game is saved now. I guess if you clear all enemies in an area, the game is going to save? Or if you clear a specific enemy, maybe. I still don't know 100% how the auto-saving works exactly, but I guess we'll find out eventually. Okay, so I wanted to clear out these undesirables and gather their juice. Get their wall get their wallets and car keys and whatnot. And now you know what time it is. I was so shocked to see that in this game, but apparently this game has dungeons. 
Not only is it like open world-ish with side quests and points of interest in the areas, there's also freaking dungeons. And this is it. The Marrow. Password. Are you the password? Man. Such a sadness. I was looking forward to some dungeon delving, some dungeon crawling. Get a password? Where the hell do I get a password? Let's take a look. Man. Blue balls moment. Too strong. Sniper rifle parts. Yeah, that's probably what I want. And yeah, I'm probably gonna get that sniper rifle before checking that smoky enemy that's uh, like over here somewhere. So, so, I keep pushing wrong buttons. Oh, what is the, oh, there's the witch over here. This was the supermarket. There's this huge, like a, uh, some sort of industrial area. That's, that's gonna be a lot of enemies there. Probably wanna go there with like uh, enough ammunition, right? Alright, well, we're looking for a password to this dungeon. God damn, you need a key for the dungeon? I, I guess that gotta make sense. Uh, maybe I could craft some ammunition for the shotgun? Uh, I should be fine. Should be fine, right? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? This is just a hellscape matrix of some weird, weird ass zombies. What could go wrong, right? Okay, let's go get that sniper rifle then. Just evade the motion inside. We're walk walking around it, around the borders of the area. Is this a dude? No. Wait, can I not? I can't pass through this. Though, though I can see. Oh, I can. I'm in the. I'm in the bushes. Okay. Am I still hidden if I aim when in the bush? I wonder. I have no idea what that is, but it looks really fucked up. Guess I should approach it and try not to be seen too early. And I can't see shit through this bush. That guy's gonna wake up probably. Damn, what the hell is this? I kinda th get the feeling I maybe should get some sort of fire, uh, fire weapon, like a Molotov or something. There's another guy. Man, there's a lot of enemies here. There's two plus one smoky, smoky dude. I guess it's just do or die, huh? We're gonna have to try and see what happens. So I guess this is like a mini boss encounter, but uh, it's in the open world, so. He probably stinks, and I probably don't wanna go near the smoke. So I probably don't want to even try a sneak kill. But I think I'm going to try it anyway, so we can gather data and see if it's possible. It was not possible on the uh, knife lady witch type of uh, person. Let's see if the other wakes up. That's a lot of enemies. Oh. Damn! Jump on his back! Stab it multiple times. And now get out. Is it a Oh, now, now it wakes everybody up, huh? It ate my stamina. It ate my stamina. It vomits. That's always good. Oops. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, that didn't go well. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. So there's like four enemies. I have no AoE bullshit that I could handle them with. Uh, so we are learning. We're gathering data. It was only the first round, okay? Everything's cool. 
only gathering data. So once you aggro it, it shouts or screams. It aggroes everybody in range and eats your stamina, then zones you with vomit. I always, I'm always happy to see vomit attacks in uh, any, any anywhere in a video game or a movie. Fucking grossest shit ever. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ready for this encounter. I'm gonna need some sort of Molotov cocktail or some shit. Probably. I wonder how much damage am I actually getting with the sneak attack? If it's anything usable. I mean, it's probably worth it to do it. It's probably worth doing. Because it's a other, otherwise it's a sneak kill, so it's probably gonna be decent damage. It's just that there's four other dudes, and I have no quick way to dispatch all four. Unless there's a puddle of water, I think I saw reflections coming off of water. Could, mm. You know that's kind of whack. That I can obviously see there's uh, enemies lying in wait. wait. But I can't finish him off. I need to aggro them first and then fight them normally. Like, why can't I just stab this guy on the floor? What are these sounds? I think it's coming from inside of that garage. Okay, what's the range of my steps? Let's get in. Let's get inside. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so I I, need, I had to be mashing X there to open it, but there's a guy. So obviously we need to take care of this encounter first. We got bottles, so we are immune to grab attacks for now. Oh! Alternate passage inside. Maybe we don't need to deal with the smoky dude first. I keep saying dude, but it's actually a woman, probably. I mean, uh, I'm not. A, I'm no expert. Okay, turn around. Uh, turn around, lady, so I can... Uh, Damn, am I am I actually assuming genders? Fuck. You know, I just it just I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta take the jump and just uh, you know assume. Maybe I could call uh, call it uh, a Z. I think that's the gender neutral uh, pronoun. I think Z as in Zer. Okay, that's much better. A much better way to enter this. Nothing. Sniper rifle parts. Spare parts for maintaining a sniper rifle. If there are sniper rifle parts here, then there must be a sniper rifle somewhere. Indeed, we do have the other part. Okay. You know what? You know, this is actually super cool to me. I can get the sniper rifle without actually fighting uh, the uh, the enemy here. Or any enemy, any any enemies here, and I, also, I can also craft some ammunition, which I probably oh I can craft the sniper rifle itself. And by craft I mean fix. <laughs> Let's do it. It costs no other parts besides the two main parts. This rifle is super accurate at long range, thanks to its powerful scope. For when you don't want to get your hands dirty. Okay. Let's take a look at this. I should have it in my arsenal wheel. Yeah. I got a fucking full ammunition for this. Nine bullets. I think we are ready to deal with these persons, people here. I feel much more ready to deal with this now. Sniper rifle cartridges. I didn't take a look. What's the max? Okay, eight bullets is the max for this. Wait, we have nine. Three plus six. 
maximum is not 8. I guess 8 is max for the stock. It doesn't count the clip itself. And by clip, I mean magazine. Game, it's a magazine. It's a, mag it's a magazine, it's not a clip. M1 Garand has a clip, not this. These are magazines, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna need some shotgun shells for this. Oh man, it's uh, really expensive, but we gotta do it. Let's reload this. And like this. Now I need to open this without getting seen, so we're gonna take a look at the window. Okay, it's walking away, so we should be safe to get out of here. Derp -a -derp. You don't see anything? I'm just walking here. Okay. Now, the game didn't save, I don't think. So if we die, we need to enter the, this house again and get all this shit, do all this stuff again. So I'm kind of thinking of going back to a safe house and get a checkpoint or something. Because I don't really trust myself to handle this on first try with the sniper rifle. Is it semi-automatic or... No, it's bolt action. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a problem, because the... It's gonna be a good delay between each shot. That's what I'm saying here. Because you have to bolt act every round. We are far enough. Guess this should be okay. I would like to get the sneaking stuff again. In the worst case scenario, we're just gonna run away, okay? If things go bad, we gotta, we're gonna run away. Because uh, it's open world and the AI is dumb, so we should be able to run away. Come on, do it. Okay, now run away. Build some distance so we don't get puked on. Right? Whoops. Okay, I can run. Ah, that's smart. Who's the first on chopping block? Yeah, still alive. This sniper rifle is not as good as I was uh, hoping to, to be. And I think there was a statue. Okay, close encounter. Okay. Where did they go? I guess they're... Did she go inside of the garage? What the... Well, I guess that's pretty safe for me. Oh, there they are. So not all of them woke up. There's only a few of them. And she's leaving the garage. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, get, get, in, get in the bush, dude. Get in the bush, man. Okay, let's take a look at this guy on the left. 10 o'clock. Should work. Are you guys nervous? Don't turn around, please. Thank you. I'm not into stealth games, actually. I always I don't, I don't like stealth games because I really suck at them. But uh, when it works, I'm gonna do my best and try it. Because it's kind of fun. It's not my usual kind of gameplay, so, you know, it's new. And I'm gonna try it. So there's another guy all the way in the back. And now she resumed the... It's, she resumed her usual patrol. So we will be able to get another sneak attack. If the other guy doesn't see us. Which he might. Oh yeah, okay, cool. But I don't think you can uh, straight up kill them with this. I don't think. Oh, she's dead! 
Whoa! Sweet. Okay, let's get in cover. Damn! I'm con conserving ammo like crazy over here. You can actually finish them with a sneak attack if you weaken them up. Sweet. Oops, no. Stay in the cover. That went much better than I was expecting. And here we have the autosave. Alright. Alright. I'll take it. Man. I really like this genre of video games. I really need to make some sort of blog post or, or, or a video about this because I really want to coin the phrase or coin the subgenre. Third person high tension action shooter with horror elements. I know it's a doozy of a name, maybe I could come up with some sort of cool acronym, but games like Resident Evil Revelations, specifically Revelations 1 and 2, and this are exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, this guy is alive. Also, something like Dead Space. And now I get wrecked by this guy? Bullshit. Let's space him out. Ow, man, this guy's first. We got a bottle. This is okay. Bottle is the best friend of a of a man. Man's best friend. But, okay, just kill me, dude. This is bullshit. We we had the safe point. I can't I can't allow this to happen. I deal with a tricky encounter flawlessly using one shotgun shell and one sniper bullet. And then I get totally wrecked by some random ass mother father. Damn. This game's hard. <laughs> I guess I should maybe not insist on using the handgun for these uh, for these wake up attacks. Because I can't aim for shit. Oh, look at this. Okay, everything's cool. Don't panic. Everybody's dead already. I mean, everybody who... Man, can you imagine doing that if the smoky lady was still there? I think that's what I'm gonna call her. The smoky lady. Smoking hot. Okay, I don't know about that, but definitely smoky and it's lady. Why do I use a shotgun shell for this? Well, I have a lot of sniper bullets. Maybe I could practice with this a bit more. And I do want to kill this guy because you're getting some juice out of this. Damn. You definitely want to get all the juice you can get, because the upgrades are pretty expensive. Okay, finish up. Man, I would like to see some sort of indicator to know if you can finish them off with a knife attack. I guess we just need to get a feel for that, huh? Kinda makes sense. Okay, I can use one more. Okay, that's a regular old corpse there. Okay, I think I can kick this over. And now it's gonna be flammable. Wonder if I can only shoot at this with a regular gun or if it needs to be the electric thing. Question answered, okay. Also, do not forget about that statue over here. Yeah, totally did not see that for at first. Let's take a look at the garage again. If there's anything new that I didn't pick up because the game reloaded, but seems okay. Okay, so we got the sniper rifle. Now what? This building over here is locked. Oh no, I did check this one. No, I did walk around this. Okay, this one is locked. So I probably want to take a look over here. Yeah, rogue signal. Let's take a look at this. That's a cool enemy type because 
it starts screaming and it drains your sp uh, stamina. So you can't really like run up to it and then get out again quickly. Even the sneak attack is kind of kind of a risky proposition because it's probably going to be set, always set up in the way that there's going to be enemies around. I wonder if the melee attack in increases damage from the stealth uh, sneak sneak attack thing. Because it might. What is this? Okay, we're doing the wrong signal right now. Yeah, this looks like some sort of warehouse, so... Could be some sort of fortification of the uh, extraction team and or supplies in general. I would also guess there's gonna be a whole lot of, whole lot of people in here. What is going on here? Shotgun shells? Okay, we're gonna get that. First, we were dealing with this shit. Man, I wonder... Man... Whoa, is this... Oh, okay, cool. Can I open this? No. Can't climb over this either. Uh, I was gonna say, I wonder how the open world traps are going to work like, because, uh, man, I do not like traps. Always make me so paranoid about everything. Wait, don't forget, there can be enemies in the boxes. Which makes no sense to me, but... It doesn't necessarily have to make sense. Because this is not... None of, none of this is real. In more ways than one. There's another hydrant, okay. That's cool. Nobody, nobody underneath that car. I need a hole in the fence. So this is a... Auto repair station. Oh. It's a stone. It's a rock. Okay, I see dudes over everywhere. There's dudes, every dudes everywhere, just like I thought. How did I get in the auto shop? Shit, that spooked me. I need to get inside of this fence. I didn't see any holes in the fence. So I need to go inside of the shop itself. To the door! Yeah. That's gonna have a lot of enemies in there. For sure. I could set up a trap with the with the electric vault. I guess I could do that. Oh man, is this a is this a product placement? Is that there is like Fuji water, right? And it's like super expensive. I've never seen that in in here. Here in Eastern Europe, but I think that exists. Oh, hey, there's luck. Let's open that. Alright, let's check uh, the vending machine. Hit. Oh, it's juice. Oh, that was in the first game. If you hit it multiple times, you're gonna get more stuff, but there's also gonna be an enemy or something. Maybe. It says here, there's some new signal. No, I'm just going closer to this one. Okay, okay. It's this one that's popping up. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go inside and see what's going on there. I would like to check this. I don't want to spend my electric bolt because I might need it for this area over here. Let's take a look then. Door's closing behind me. Oh my. Oh boy. Let's go up the area slowly. So these uh, little closed areas are really important for this game because it's the map is large. It's sort of open world-ish. So if we want to do some uh, like linear spook thing or an event, you need something like this. And I think, so far, it seems to work really well. 
Oh, that's the. I was like, what the hell is that shadow in the background? And that's the signal. So I guess there's gonna be no enemies here, right? At least not yet. Can explore in peace. Don't forget we're looking for the password of the dungeon. So before we do that, let's uh, explore these lockers and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna need to open this. Nails. Ooh. Sounds good. I need to open the garage door so I can get the other stuff. But that's probably gonna be the encounter of this area. I guess you could also consider this a mini dungeon, sort of. There's something on the other side of this wall. <laughs> <sighs> he logged a bunch of those things. <laughs> so wait. So there's dudes underneath this this shop, and then there's more at the visitor center. But I've uh, need to open this. I need to open this. I do that. Can't climb anything. I didn't see. He said below, but I don't think I don't see any like trap uh, door or anything like that. I guess maybe maybe he meant the visitor center. Because I should have paid more attention to what they were saying. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. I, think I should just probably leave this area. Hmm. Okay. Is there any buttons that I can push? This door is suspicious to me. It's gotta be possible to open. Maybe there's gonna be a key in the visitor center. It's possible. I guess let's leave. Okay, let's walk around this again. See if there's any hole in the fence over here. So I don't think there is. There's only that one hole and it was the outside of this area. But I guess there's nothing inside, huh? No, over there. That looks like something. Yeah, that looks like something over there, right? And there's also boxes over there. Oh, can I climb this? Ah. Soka. Okay. Expecting uh, a betrayal here. Everything's cool, okay. Before we open this truck. Let's look at this guy. Is that a gun? A new handgun? Let's stick, okay. Get off me, lady. That's a throw break. Get up. God damn, they don't give a shit. They have so much poise. She's not done? Oh, she's done, okay. Well, that took all my bullets. Let's take a look at the new handgun. Laser-sighted handgun. Ooh. 
but that's not a, wait that's not called 1911 right it kind of looks like it though i think it's like usb 45 or something smart medic pistol has been equipped with the laser sight for improved accuracy at long ranges so you do get yeah this is called 1911 for sure Oh, so it is 1911, but it now has the laser sights. So what's the point of using the other gun then? Does this deal less damage or something? It also has its own ammunition. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's take a look at, uh, look at the old inventory. It's the same gun, but it has a laser sight. It can be upgraded. I mean, the upgrades are shared in the weapon category, so all the upgrades will go for this one as well. Uh, I'm not sure why would you not use... Oh, wait a second! If it has separate ammo count for each magazine, then I guess if you find extra ammunition, you can uh, put the ammunition in the other gun. Now that makes sense, and that sounds pretty cool actually. But other than that, I don't see any other difference between the guns. Hmm. Interesting. Guess I can look at this again. Underneath the auto body shop. And he's going to the visitor center. So, I probably need a key from the visitor center over... Uh, no, not there. This. I did check this area out already though. Hey, dude, I was there already. Didn't find any keys. Guess I didn't know I'm supposed to look for any key. Okay, let's let's test this gun out then. See how it works. Yeah, now now I'm getting some Resident Evil 4 vibes, right? Oh, there's a bottle. Maybe I'll pick it up if it's gonna be necessary. So apparently there's dudes in here. Oh, maybe it was an underneath. Maybe it was the zombie that just attacked me. As I picked up the gun. Can't break this box. There's not even a knife. Maybe I could try breaking the box with the shotgun, but I don't think I can break this. It looks reinforced and shit, so forget it. I don't think I need the bottle here. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's it. Unless there's something in the car. Or one of the cars, anyway. Sometimes there's stuff inside. You can break the window and get the stuff. Okay, I don't see anything. Okay, let's get out of here. I can break these boxes. Let's take a look. Nothing. Nice. Uh, nothing also? Damn. Okay, I think we can leave. So, where are we going now? I guess I want to check out the train cars over here. I keep pushing the wrong buttons all the time. Oh, there's a resonance poison here. Huh? What? Is that inside? It is, huh? Oh, do I need to walk here? But I would guess that's uh, inside. Oh, that's, I guess uh, it's showing me that's below me. Right, right. That means I need to get that key and stuff. Okay. Man, some of this uh, some of these mechanics are not immediately obvious. And you gotta at least you gotta like really observe and stuff. But there's definitely not a complaint from my side. I do stuff like this. So there's a ghosty ghost with the uh, some juice. Let's check it out. 
carefully though. I'm full on healing wares, so I should not be too worried about healing. I like drains, but I'm not sure about the scene over here. And all the rats. I hear something. What's this? Handgun ammo pouch. Shotgun chills. Wait, how far is that? 37 meters. Well, I mean, it's an abandoned train car, full of blood. Looks okay. Splice. Ooh, yeah. Wait, I can jump over this? Do you hear that? Is there another witch? Man, I'm gonna have to enter this from where exactly? Oh. Yeah, there's definitely dudes in this train car over here. The echo is over there. Oh, hello. It's a one person. It looks like a regular enemy. Should be able to sneak up on him. Right? Just gotta be patient. Unless there's another guy over here somewhere. Oops! No, that's the wrong cover. Okay, that was close. Am I hidden? Jeez. Definitely do not want to waste uh, ammunition at all, because uh, this difficulty definitely you can do that. <clears throat> and those rats are going ham. Now watch something from the side jump on me. I think I saw a dude there. There's another one on the left. If I stay quiet... Nope. Here they are. Here's the bullshit. Keep running. Oh, wrong gun. Wrong, wrong gun. Holy shit. Boy, that was a double hit. I think I'm dead. Nope, I'm alive. Reload this thing. No, don't reload it. Okay, bottle, save my ass this time. Bottle, save my ass this time. No, no. Okay. Sheesh. Okay, that was bullshit. So this is the wrong gun. <clears throat> yeah, okay. One bullet, that's not gonna work. But oh, that was a mess. <laughs> that was a mess. But we're alive, I guess. Let's uh, do one heal. Oh. Sneak kill one person and then there's like uh, four other dudes. Cool. Man, the bottle is super useful, huh? Is this guy still alive? I think it might. Let's pick up all the juice. Oh 
boy. Well, we did get a save, so I guess we can uh, take a look at this guy. Of course! And it's also another guy. Well, shit. Okay, now it's a battle of spacing. I should knock him down. Oops, that was a big whiff. And I feel so heavy. After playing Warframe so much, this game feels so heavy. Yeah, we got the bottle, it's, it's okay. I'll move out. Nice, two attacks. Good. God damn it! I think I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in some uh, in some melee attack strength. How many stabs is it gonna take? <laughs> there it is. Man. All of your moves are so crazy minus. It's crazy. You can't whiff anything. Even if you hit them, you're still like minus 8 million frames. That's definitely not fair. <laughs> oh hey, we got red gel. Oh yeah. Did you guys, did you guys uh, play or know about the game called <clears throat> Murdered Soul Suspect? Because I'm not usually into like uh, adventure games where there's not much gameplay. But that game was pretty spooky in a really nice way. Which is kind of weird to say when, you, when I think about it. But it's a, it's a cool little game. These echoes of the ghosts kind of remind me of that. Anyway, every step you take, I'll be watching. Oh, Sugar has played it? Okay, I, I'm not surprised Sugar has played it. Yeah, I definitely think that's something you would enjoy. I When I was when I played it the first time, I, I was kind of considering streaming it, but I wasn't sure because, like I say, it's not really my kind of game, so I wasn't sure if I would be even able to play it in a way that would be like super... Uh, like. How should I say this? When I play games outside of my genre, I usually play them terribly. Like stealth games and adventure games. So I thought maybe I'm not the best person to stream kind of the game like that. Another statue. Hey. Beautiful. A bottle. Yeah, I think I should not worry about using the bottles at all because the game puts the bottles everywhere. So if anything, it would be shame not using them. Is there a leg or is there a... Yeah, I think that's a leg and then there's a hand. Oh shit. Or arm rather. Boxes. You know what that means? Supplies. Which game? Uh, murdered Soul Suspect. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mm, mix between. Well, it's basically Ghost Trick, but in three D. Third person perspective. And it's the in it's in the town of Salem. Is this another Easter egg? It is. I don't know. I don't recognize this though. It's a like a cybernetic. Uh, head. 
It's a mask. Well, what could this be? Oh, Dishonored? Court of all. Oh, I see. Is that... I mean, it doesn't really remind me of that, but I guess... I haven't... I, I've played that game when it first came out. I haven't played it since, so... That makes sense. It's, it's Bethesda. That makes sense. I think it's a good call, Sugar. It's gonna be it. It doesn't look it doesn't look exactly the same though, right? Because I don't think it does. Oh boy, what do we have here? More enemigos? Why did what? The? Okay. 20, 24 gel? I feel like that's some sort of reference or something. What is this? Smoke powder. Bundle of herbs. High grade weapon part. Oh shit. Nice. Can't open this or this. Or this. So, in a true survival horror fashion, I presume there's gonna be some bullshit on the way back. Maybe not. Okay. Man, I really like what they're doing here with the idea of a large open area and horror elements. I really like what they're doing with this. And I think it works really well. I think I'm close to a... Yeah. There's the workbench. I didn't get this. Whoa. Man, I'm missing, I'm missing a bunch of stuff when I, as I'm walking around, huh? That's interesting. How did I not get this? Mm, although, uh, waypoints... Yeah, I think I'm okay with things like this. It definitely hurts the experience when it comes to the idea of uh, the horror element. But I don't think the horror is the like number one focus of this, the series, in fact. Evil Within. I think the focus is on the high tension encounters. And also... God damn it. Hell. Can't believe this. Where'd she go? There it is. Much better. The high tension encounters and then uh, the constant surprising nature of the of the world, because the world keeps shifting. Because it's not real, right? It's the mind of somebody and things just go crazy all the time at at random times. Things that are completely outside. Well, there's a safe. So that's kind of what I wanted. Let's th let's root through garbage. No anime. Damn. Oh well. You know, it's the best. If you want to find some anime, you know, the best place to look at. You know, garbage cans. I I f I feel like that's how it is nowadays. Oh wait a minute! It looks like you can uh, stack up the count of the axes. Because it said plus one. So that maybe can have more than one at a time. That's cool, but it doesn't really make sense, right? Like, where is he putting those axes in? In his pocket, I guess? Ammunition? Why is it a cutscene? Okay. Alright, let's change uh, the basic gun to this. Mm. Hello? Can you move? Thank you. Mm. It's a bus with some blood in it. Cool. Oh. Oh, I can sound the horn. That's interesting. 
That is quite that is quite interesting. I can set up a trap. I guess. If I so desire. But I don't wanna go there right now. What is this? Treadway tread tread something truck. Truck stop? Trucking? Where was I going? Oh yeah, over here. Back to the train car. Well, I guess I want to craft some ammunition. Can I craft something? Do I have enough stuff? Not really. Not really. But I do need some ammo. I have no ammo to speak of. Now the question is, are these places safe or do they throw surprises at you? Kind of like Silent Hill 4, when you go back to your room. Wait, that'd be cool. And fucked up. So I think I'd be able to upgrade something. Yeah, man, I would like to get some just more shotgun shells, because that seems like the only useful gun right now. Let's take a look at the upgrades first. Sniper rifle. So that's damage. 15% extra damage. Hmm. Whoa, these upgrades are super not interesting. Just more ammo, more fire rate, reload time, and firepower. There's no other things there. 160 parts. 5% extra damage for the shotgun. Oh boy. And the shotgun already deals pretty good damage, so I guess it's not really a problem. So fire rate would be nice, I suppose. Handgun. It only says handgun, it doesn't say anything else there. So I guess it is the same handgun, it's just the other one has the laser sights. And that's supposed to be better in some way. Critical damage when shooting enemies weak point. Yeah, that's what we want as soon as possible. We do have high grey weapon bars. And I Oh man. I think I do what I use more. I want the handgun to be useful because that's the easiest ammo to get. It's just that it's really hard to hit anything with it. Because I'm so terrible at it. What is this? Effect chains to more enemies over great distance. Hmm. Yeah, let's focus on the handgun first. more damage. That's 200 parts. Man. Okay, let's get the critical critical chance. Should be able to help me with uh, staggering them and stuff. Fire rate. I don't necessarily want to fire faster, I don't think. Ninety. What is this? Thirty. Faster firing shotgun. Now, I, I would rather have more powerful rounds that I need to aim carefully than shooting faster. Because I don't have the luxury to shoot many times. Right. I already have this. Charge time. Okay, let's get this. Okay. I didn't craft the ammunition. Also, it seems like the game saves after you you are done with the bench. So that's good. Seven bullets. Let's do it. Oh shit. Can I regret one of these? Oh, harpoon bolts don't take gunpowder. That makes sense. Let's make this. And one of these. I kind of feel like the shock bolts are sort of the power cores or power nodes in Dead Space. You never want to leave without at least one in your inventory. So you can open possible hidden areas. Man, I could I could go for some coffee, right? Could go for some coffee because I'm at low HP and hitting that would be pain in the ass. But with coffee, we could go full HP immediately. So what's the closest uh, safe safe house down here? 
Well, the game did save, so I guess I don't need to worry about dying too much right now. Let's check the grain, the, the grain tar, uh, the drain car. Here. Oh. Reach over. I'm starting to notice a pattern with these ambushes. Okay, first time he's gonna run up and do the quick attack. Or not? Did he f completely forget about me? Open world AI, dude. It's very peculiar. Where is he going? Or where is he trying to go anyway? Well, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, portable, what's up, man? How's your evening going? We are going nowhere fast in this train, anyway. Let me get all the juice. Mm. Oh, there's a camera. I sense trouble. They should probably upgrade my handgun capacity, uh, but that's not really all that useful. The stun pouch is used to carry additional handgun bullets. <laughs> additional. <laughs> I think that thing just took a picture of me or something. Additional handgun bullets. Hmm. Oh, there's a trap. But I still can't do anything about it. Whoa, I was waiting for a tutorial to explain to me how do I deal with traps, but I can't do anything with this. I can't jump over it. Can I open this? No. I guess I'm just gonna have to walk through it and see what happens. Maybe maybe it's not a trap because I don't see any payload. Maybe it's just a thing for the camera. That's weird, but it's not impossible. What the hell is this? And I can use my knife. Or axe in this case. <laughs> oh, is it in there? I shot through him. Oh no! What? What the fuck? So I guess when there is the slow mo in the area, nothing's gonna happen. But as soon as it stops, we become corporeal or something. I did shoot. I did shoot straight through him. Right? You guys saw that. So I'm guessing if I'm gonna be in the zone, it's uh, we are probably like uh, phasing through the shadow realm or whatever. But as soon as that area stops, we are vulnerable. And that goes both for me and the enemies, probably. Weird. But that also means I can uh, totally walk all the way back to that other building. Because it had the string there too, over here. No, no, not over here. This bin, this here. There were supplies over here on the first floor, but I didn't go there because there was this string and I didn't, couldn't do anything about it, so I didn't want to walk into it. But now I know I can totally do that. So we're gonna have to investigate. Shotgun shells. Didn't pick that up either. Oh boy. There's a bunch of stuff. I think I'm gonna pick this up on the way back once I reach, or once I get the key from here. So I guess what I want to do right now is go... Well, I, don't, I guess I don't need the safe house. I do want to go back over here and check the other string there then. And we can take it through the visitor center. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. That's the main quest. Okay. 
What is it doing then? I think I checked all the train cars then. We increase the ammo capacity for the handgun. As if we are ever going to have too much ammo. I don't think that I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I was almost wondering when, the, when it comes to the respawning enemies, if they do respawn and how exactly do they do that? Seems like there's nobody here. So it seems like enemies will not respawn if you reload the game and stuff, which I do like because that means there are the resources are indeed limited. You can't grind the gel. Is that car bumping? Hmm. Thought I saw that car bumping around. Guess not. And once you clear an area, it's clear. I really do like that. It's one of my biggest prob- My only problem with Far Cry 2 was that fact that you clear an outpost and it's cleared for exactly two minutes before enemies are respawned. Okay, the game saved. Okay, I see a question in the chat. Let's look. What's up with the plot in this game? Never played the first one, but saw play through. Yeah, the plot is kind of like uh, the setting is more interesting than the plot right now. I, I mean, I just started the game, and we are the main main guy, Sebastian Castellanos, is entering the Matrix to find his uh, allegedly dead daughter, which is now revealed to be alive and part of an experiment of this Matrix uh, machine that creates these environments from the mind of a person and the machine is supposed to be like uh, something that uh, allows people to share their minds so that's what we're doing here we're sharing our we're sharing the minds that's why that's why strange things keep happening because none of this is real we've seen the map before you can see on the right. Uh, Lily, the daughter of Sebastian, drew that on the picture of uh, of her father, that being the main character, and she drew the moth. So I guess this could be a message from Lily. Sebastian. What, what's the name? What's the name here? Ryan Turner. Can't see anything in there. There's this big echo. Oh yeah, well, we've seen this before in the opening segment. So Ryan Turner is also dead, and he's been killed probably by the dude with the camera. Well, guess uh, we're gonna get in. Oh man, I guess I wanted to drink the coffee, right? Well, we got a safe point, it's okay, let's get in there. I'm gonna finish the game on the PC first. You're also gonna stream it portable. Oh, you you've played it? You do like? Oh wait, you were talking about MGS5. Yeah, I played the MGS5 on PC, and now I'm tempted to stream it on PS4 because it was on PS Plus. <laughs> so, oh man, I have a typo in my. I have a typo in my freaking. Uh, Twitch title. Is that, how, is that how we pronounce night? I think that's correct. Uh, I mean, spell. Nightmare. Jeez, you guys didn't alert me to the typo? Shit. This first game and this aren't really connected so far. Oh, they are. They like The second game is directly continuing from the first game. It's just that the... The first game ends in, in a way that's like... Uh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're connected, basically. They are connected. It's several years after the first game. Okay, uh, let's pick some stuff before we trigger the bullshit. Yeah, we've seen this in the intro, I mean, the opening chapter. Nothing else here, huh? We're looking for a key. 
or something that's gonna help us enter the auto shop underground. It's the classical music again. Okay, what kind of gun was this? Looks like probably some sort of magnum. That's a lot of damage. right on the money it was a magnum he didn't leave it here though that's unfortunate whoa a functioning mirror in a modern game what the hell is going on what actual mirror <sighs> Turner's communicator log. The most recent log file recorded by the communicator. Turner, speaking. I read my communicator to pick up Unity chip signals. I managed to find locations for the rest of the security team. What's left of them anyway? They'll have supplies, and it's not like they needed him anymore. Well, these chips are broadcasting from dead brains. Location of... Whoa. So, the, sh the shadows from the particles from the brain... Uh, rewound, and I was like, what the hell just happened? This is pretty cool. Shadows from skull tissue and blood. Games are going too far, man. Games are going too far. Still trying to look. So no keys, huh? Got some dead drops. Another ammo pouch? What's the point of the pouch if it's not full of ammo? Man, I'm never gonna have too much ammo for my handgun. <laughs> Shit. I still need to get inside of this this thing over here. Or maybe maybe I was supposed to activate the resonance point. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to that. Okay, I think that's it for this area. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Look, guys, I like looking at things, okay? So I'm gonna be looking at things, I'm gonna spend time in areas because I'm gonna look at things and investigate I don't wanna miss stuff but that doesn't okay so let me let me uh, explain this I don't wanna miss stuff but I don't wanna miss them on my own <laughs> if I'm gonna miss them on my own that's fine okay so that I keep saying this game is good because of all the surprises. I'm glad I didn't see any trailers for this game. Really extra happy about that. Open world horror events. I mean, look at this guy. There was no loading, okay? If we were in the open map, we went underground, and then this shit happens. This is so cool. I was I was not expecting anything like that in a video game. This 
game looks so good. And it's doing such interesting things. I was really worried about this game because it was it's not directed by Shinji Mikami, but I think I don't need to be worried anymore. This looks hella good. Oh. That guy looks like he's gonna wake up. did get that upgrade. It seems to be working. <laughs> I wonder what the critics would say about art pieces like these. I mean, that looks pretty cool, it's just that a real human died because of that. Droppings. Damn. Oh, they're behind. <laughs> no droppings. No, wait. They're behind in the other room. Okay. I guess that makes sense. But again, nothing in this game. You know, this is actually <laughs> this is actually really cool because because it's the Matrix. Nothing needs to make any sense. Everything is explained with the setting of the world. Uh, with the setting of the game. <laughs> Even weird, bullshit like stupid AI and nonsensical item placement and some other stuff. Everything's okay. Everything is completely explainable with the setting. What's up, you huh? How's my nightmare? Well, we had... we had... N okay, I, I almost said it, but probably I shouldn't say that. We had a typo nightmare. But it's okay now. Oh, I don't know I do like the game. It's doing some really interesting things. Like, uh, it's actually... This game is actually innovating on many, many ways, when it comes to video games in general. Hey Mort, what's up? Stone Age pieces in the room. Yeah, yeah, I was making that point in the last stream. There's CRT monitors and CRT televisions everywhere. And this is supposed to be like several years after the year 2014, so I don't know what's going on with that. Though this is a Matrix world that was created artificially, so maybe they envisioned the idyllic America to be the late 90s? I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, late 90s were pretty fucking good for video games. Especially computer video games. <laughs> And now we're back in the open world map without any loading. How impressive is that shit? I think it's pretty fucking impressive. I think that is pretty damn cool. Because my, I was definitely worried about this game having large maps, definitely hurting the Evil Within experience specifically, because Evil Within one. It's very linear in the sense that you kind of have these larger maps 
but you're all always going forward so they can always do some crazy events and shift the environment around you and do some unexpected stuff all the time because it's all tunnels right it tunnel ish stuff but they still do the same thing in the open world this is so crazy I wonder if I'm gonna stop saying that at some point, but I keep repeating that because I think it's a really important thing about this game. That's what really makes it so different from everything else. And that's why it's actually innovative. Innovative? 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 Yeah, Dark Souls 1 has an open world without loadings, but it doesn't have any scripted events, you know? This game does both of those things. If you think open world, you don't think scripted events. Or if you do, they are always janky and they don't really work. Definitely not like this. I was dead, but I didn't see the world. I was dead. 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 こんなことにはならなかった。かもね。でも研究は素晴らしい。異業だよ。こんな目にあっても、まだ信じてるのか。忠誠心が報われるといいな。連中は今お前に一切興味はなさそうだな。どういう意味だよ。君を送り込んだ
No loading here either. I think. Sebastian is a badass and he went after the group alone. Well, k kinda ish. It's more like a. He really wants his daughter back, and the secret agency that found him didn't really give him any other options. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. First of all, I'm not I'm not even sure why his daughter is so special. But I didn't play the DLCs of the first game, and apparently there's some there's some information about his wife who went missing before the first game. So I guess it I guess it kind of makes sense. I, I guess I'll have to play the DLCs at some point because I did read the synopsis of the story, but it didn't it didn't really uh yeah, I guess you really have to play through that to get the full story. <sighs> oh yeah. Shotgun shells. Jack Pot. A fool. What's this? I guess this it's empty? Okay, it's empty. Hello, nurse! Nothing new. Damn. But let's take a look at my brain. Macintosh 128K was the first computer we had in your family specs. Hauptprozessor vom Team Motorola 68,128 kilobytes. Hauptspeicher RAM und. Wait, how do you say 60? That's uh, it should be four and sixty. Four and sixty is sixty-four, right? Fast wird speicher ausgestattet das Laufwerk fast faster. Well, I I got like half of the information there, but it's okay. So there was an eight thousand upgrade that I wanted to get. Which was it? What was the thing? Is it in stealth? Oh yeah, move faster while crouched. Special ability which allows you to quickly close an enemy before you sneak kill. Wow. That's a whole mechanic. Well, we have, we have, we have both ways to say uh, numbers in Czech language. We can either say, like, uh, like 54 or 4 and 50 we can do both but nobody nobody ever says the 4 and 50 no, nobody says that ever unless they really want to sound like super sophisticated perhaps start stop attack when the red icon is displayed snake kill what so once you see that red indicator you push circle and then once you're close enough, you push the sneak kill. When enemy, when within a certain distance behind an unaware enemy, a red icon will be displayed on them. Press circle button to begin sprinting toward them. When you get close enough, the sneak kill icon will be displayed. Press the X button to sneak kill the enemy. The attack will fail if the enemy notices you part way through the sprint. So take care to attack from behind. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Oh, I saw. I also want the sneak kills from uh, the cover. Mm. Reduce radical sway. I'll be able to get this too. That sounds cool. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why I say it that way. <laughs> the native tongue is German dialect that is only spoken in Swiss. Oh shit, man! There's so many layers to everything. Like I was, I was uh, talking about Warframe with my, with my cohorts, who who are like veterans of that game, and there's so many like exceptions and so many things to learn. It's like when I talk about Tekken with other people, it's like for every rule there's uh, there's many exceptions. <laughs> it's also kind of like the Czech language. First thing you need to know is that there's here's all the rules. Which, which of which there are many and now there are also exceptions for everything so fun 
Yeah, melee damage. Including attacks with weapons like knives and axes. I guess this doesn't include the stealth attacks, I guess, probably. Maybe it does. So that's 3000 smackaroos. I think I'm gonna get one of those upgrades at least. I did go for the melee attacks in the first game and I was not impressed by the effectiveness of the upgraded melee attacks, but maybe in this game it's gonna be better. I kinda don't wanna even bother trying it out because, you know. Maybe it's gonna be as bad as the first game. What was the horizontal line there? Don't think there's anything new here. Don't have a new slide. Oh yeah, here. Okay, okay, so the other guy we found dead is not one of the five we're looking for. Lime O'Neill is uh, alive in that first safe house. Okay. Oh, here we see a modern computer with the flat screen, huh? Okay. So it, it is then uh, a design... Hey, we, we got the uh, easter eggs we found. The Corvo mask and the Quake rocket launcher. That's cool. That's that's pretty sweet. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm looking at this picture is that this is the drawing of the daughter and we can see the moth. So... It kind of seems like Lily is aware of your presence in the, in the mindscape and she's trying to communicate with you as best as she can, probably. Maybe. Or also it could be just a hallucination of Sebastian. We'll see, I guess. Let's save the game. Over here. And let's continue. We got some shotgun shells, which is great. And one bullet for the handgun. Okay, let's uh, let's go for the sniper rifle, I guess. I can spend ammunition here. So where are we going? Uh, I can't go back here, that's where the game starts, and then the world crashed. I'm gonna go here. Oh wait, there's the witch. We will be able to snipe the witch with the sniper rifle. Very good. Sounds like a good plan. And then there's supplies over there, over here in that direction. Guess I could get the checkpoint. That's actually, that's not... Maybe I could try not using checkpoints because... I kind of primed my ability to orientate myself with maps. Without indicators. And this map is not that huge anyway, so... I think it would be more interesting to just navigate. Navigate, as we say, by voco. Which is by eye. And check language. I did check this building already. Any mail? No mail. <laughs> the camera reminds me. In Warframe, if you kill bosses repeatedly in the boss encounter missions, you can get hate mail from a stalker, and then in some other random mission, the stalker is gonna spawn and totally fucking annihilate you because they're super strong and invisible and they're just fucking douchebags. Wait, did I check the garage? I think I did. Yeah, because there, there was a plant in that. And it's not gone now, so. I yeah, already checked this place too. Oh, is that a bottle? Is that a bottle? Yeah. Bottle is man's best friend in this game. Okay, there's the witch. We can see her under the street light over there. Let's approach carefully. Under the guise of a... Something to cover? Another bottle over here, which I don't need. Okay, can I get in here? Well, maybe, maybe later we might. Or there's other door that's gonna open. Okay, these boxes are breakable. 
I think I heard something. Can you guys actually hear the dialogues when they were there? I forgot to ask. Because I think the dialogues were a bit quiet in the last stream. Okay, I guess we can do it from here, huh? The snake kill doesn't kill, kill her, so we need to soften her up a little bit first. Where the hell is she going? Oh, I guess she doesn't know where I am. So she switched positions. Wait, is that her? Yeah, I think that's her. Okay, let's uh, try to slowly make our way towards her. Oh, she's coming back. Any of you guys seen the movie Juon or Kuon or was it Ju? I think it was Juon. Kuon is a game by FromSoft. Should do it right. Step her in the side, step her in the head, and she's done. Sweet. And the sniper rifle is useful. Can confirm the usefulness of this gun. Give me that. Got him. Man, so much possible ammo we can have for the handgun. Yeah, as if that's ever going to freaking happen. It's still moving! Whatever this is. Wait, what, what, what even is this supposed to be? I might not even want the answer, actually. Now that I think about it. So I can go inside here. Is that a good idea? It's probably a good and bad idea at the same time. Thing in the car. Okay, there, there was this garbage can. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Maybe we had some gunpowder. Gun yeah. Nothing? Nothing at all. I think I hear someone. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm here. You're there. It's okay. Hey, there's some juice. Thank you, sir. Yeah, here's a bunch of people on the ground. I think I checked that building over there already. It had the cool and... Or was it over here? Hmm. Damn, that's a lot of enemies all the time. What the hell is wrong with this game? You give me two bullets and five enemies? Yo, that's a lot of enemies. Here two, here's one. Oh! Ammunition! Ah. <laughs> Damn! Takes too long to... cock the gun. Whoa, that was a big win. That felt bad. Felt really bad, man. Damn, that felt good. There's so many more dudes in the back. This one lost me? And the AI really is not good in the open segments. Really not good. There's more dudes in there in there. Where they come from? What the heck? So I guess there may be some sort of respawning, but it's not time related. It's related more to events. 
I think I heard another dude. Someone. I'm just gonna heal. Yeah, I can totally afford healing because I have a bunch of other stuff in the... with the nurse. Is this guy alive? Oh, screw him. I have one bullet in the handgun. God damn it. No critical. I'm so slow! I can't believe this. This fat zombie attacks faster than me with a knife. Come on, dude. Damn, Sebastian, you suck. Why does this take so long? And now he whips. There we go. Whatever. It's okay. I'll take this. Is there any more supplies here? I didn't want to use more of the shotgun because I'm gonna need it for this for this building over here, then I'm gonna check. So here's the warehouse thing or whatever that is. Oh, what is this? Let's get in there. Oh, <gasps> shotgun shells! Oh man, they really want me to use the shotgun, huh? Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna complain about that. More enemy goes. Twelve o'clock. Two of them. Can they open doors? <gasps> It's got Molotov. Did they see me? I don't think they're... I don't think they know about me. Okay, Mother Father. These guys are really annoying because they keep whipping out those stupid bottles. Really? Did that hurt me? Uh, I don't think it did. But if it did, or if it does, then it's kind of bullshit. Though it makes sense. Okay, we can get get a good look here. Man, I don't want to go there yet. Look at how many enemies there are. That's crazy. I'm not prepared for this. There's probably gonna be some sort of catch. Something I might be able to use. Some big ol' explosion or something. Wonder if shooting birds gives you anything. Probably does because it's a video game. But I haven't tried in this game yet. Okay. I'm gonna go here and here. First. See something below that car. Yeah, man, I really like this game. There's another, another dude who's gonna wake up. I really like games that allow you to just scope out an area and then build an approach, and then everything goes wrong, and then you have to improvise. That is exactly why I liked Far Cry 2 and 3 and Metal Gear Solid 5 so much. Those games do exactly that as well. Some better than others, but it's all the same idea. I really like it. Same level of sickness them as Bloodborne. Now I think Bloodborne is probably a bit uh, less into body horror and actual like. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I think this game is like more gross. I guess I would say, with the imagery, and the enemy design, and all this stuff. Bloodborne is a bit classier and more into the occultism and that kind of thing. This is, this is like a science, science body horror. Yeah. 
I would, I would describe it as such. Science and body horror. You know, just like Resident Evil. Whereas Bloodborne is more into the esoteric and supernatural horror thing. Which I do prefer. I'm not really into uh, body horror, but you know, I, I can still appreciate it. Even though it's not my jam, I... <laughs> pardon, the, par pardon the pun and the idea of uh, gore horror being a jam of any kind. <laughs> But I guess yeah, I guess you get the point. It's not my jam. Yeah. Okay, let's get another one of these. Definitely need to use more of the harpoon bolts. I'm out of sniper rifle, huh? Eight gunpowders. Oh well. Let's get a full magazine of this. Let's get one bullet for the sniper, so if we... Oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade the gun. So if we find another witch, we can deal with it from afar. Gun. Firepower. Yeah. That's more like it. Can I afford any of these things for 25 smackaroos? I guess not. 170. Oh man, everything needs a lot of fucking body parts, weapon parts. There's gotta be a better way to get these things later on, probably. Everything seems to be like a 30 at least. Now, I forgot that I wanted to pay attention to the sound of the handgun if, it's, if it sounds different than the other one, but I guess it doesn't. Because I probably would have noticed that already. I guess I don't wanna, don't wanna heal, because we just saved the game. Alright, next up. Is this house over here, on this side? Also, enemy ghosts can uh, crawl from the bushes, and I think this also is an enemy go. Just walk around it. Uh, there's another one. I guess as soon as I pick one of those Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Probably gonna wake up. Right? Do I hear a dog? I definitely hear something. See if I can cancel the animation of the melee swing. I walk into the box. Janky. I hear footsteps. I think. <gasps> Statue. Hey. Give me that. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I did want to go back to the auto shop. Yeah, there's so much to check and discover and explore. I love this game. I love the idea of scavenging a wasteland or abandoned urban environment for for like materials and stuff and then you know try to survive and bullshit like that. But I like to do that in an open map. Not like Last of Us. You know. So Fallout as much as Fallout 4 gets shit from people for whatever reason I really think that game was really good for the like exploration and the general gameplay look like that. So here's supposed to be the echo somewhere. It is down below. I guess. How the hell do you get below? Oh yeah, I guess I just need the key for this door over here. Don't know where to get it. It was not in the visitor center. So, not sure what's going on with this uh, auto shop over here. 
So we'll find out. You think it would have something to do with this? Survive. Adapt. Overcome. Yeah. It's probably the tagline of something. Alright, let's open this shit. That's a lot of dudes! That is a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes! Holy shit, okay. This may have been a bad idea. He's got a, he's got an axe! He's got an axe. Okay, let's, let's think about this. <laughs> let's think about this. We have harpoon balls. I missed! How the hell did that miss? I saw the line go through him. Did it not? My, my crossbow was inside of the dude. I guess the projectile was behind him. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of people there. Man. Well, at least we know there's like five dudes in there. Holy shit. They're having a big old party in there. A big old party and I'm crashing it. Well, I need to pick up all this dude again, huh? Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's pick this up. Now they wake up. Yeah, okay. Okay, the game is getting a little bit predictable at this point. Really? Still alive? Damn. Out of ammo. Didn't I shoot an arm off of that lady? I was thinking maybe she should be weakened enough? No. I really gonna have to spend some points on the melee damage because this knife is not doing shit. Although a 50% increase from like one damage, it's probably not gonna do much, right? Okay, let's try. Let's try again. Eventually, I'll get these ladies or people. I think they are like randomly spawned. So once it's gonna be a dude, then it's gonna be a lady. And then another time. I don't want to use the shotgun on these basic mooks. Okay, let's do this then. Oh, I could have finished him off. Okay. Okay. Meg, if I could retrieve the bolt, that'd be cool. Where's the other guy? Oh. He's walking in the other direction. Okay, that works. But yeah, I don't really love this part of the open map design. There's dudes just laying on the floor. You can't do anything with them except to knife them, to wake them up. You can finish them off. You can't do anything if you notice them beforehand. And when you pick up an item... Oh shit! They wake up. Okay. So you don't need to score a headshot with this, but if it's fully charged, the bow will knock them down. Which will allow you to finish them off. Okay. That's good. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, I have to open the can after this. Oh, hey. What do we have here? Supplies. Metal pipe. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna be way more excited about metal pipes. Now that I know how they work. With the crossbow. Mm hmm. Sweet. Some boxes. Is that a tree? That's a tree. That's where I need to go. 
and that's where I want to go. But there's so many other things to see and check. Hmm. That's a safe house over there. Have to climb this? All right. I think there's anything else that I haven't seen here. Oh, there's boxes. Let's fuck him up. Oh yeah, and there's also the key that I should pick up again. I'm probably not gonna mess with that truck. The party in the truck. It's probably too much for me to take. If I don't want to use all my resources. There is stuff over here too. You know, you know what would I prefer? Like a, I would prefer not having a damage boost for the knife, but a speed increase. That'd be better. He swings this shit so fucking slowly, it's unbelievable. More boxes. The devs can have you ruining their perfect invisible ambush by noticing it beforehand. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. So in some ways the game rewards you for being attentive and in some ways it, it kinda, kinda punishes you. In a weird way. When you think about it. More garbage. Let's take a look. It's an axe. Okay. Hmm. You definitely want to kill all the zombies because you get juice, and juice is super important in this game. Okay, let's, let's do it like this. Oh, sir. Well, I don't want to use the axe to wake him up. How do I wake him without using the axe? Oh, well, whatever. I'll just come back later when I don't have the axe. Okay, let's uh, save the game again, over here with this uh, beautiful, beautiful workbench. Also, might do an upgrade here. Right, so the shotgun sh uh, shoots slowly, so let's get it over here. You have to spend two weapon parts, the two high-grade weapon parts, to get another rate of fire increase. That's crazy, man. And there's nothing in between of these things? That is messed up. That's messed up. Sure. Can craft another harpoon bolt or two. Should do it. All right. Now, where were we? Wait, what is this? Oh, this place. <laughs> Already forgetting things. It's crazy. All right, let's take a shotgun and. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Those things will kill her. Well, that's really bad for her. Pretty sure I can't make it in time. I mean, I'm guessing she's already dead. Great. Forgot about the axe. Really? He doesn't shoot through these motherfathers? I thought shotguns are supposed to be crowd control. Maybe not. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> okay. So I guess this shotgun doesn't really have a spread or 
penetration or anything like that. Okay, so what did I pick up here? Did I pick up anything here after doing the save? I don't think so. And over here, triggered the event over there. Mm. Can I even deal with that? Oh, it's not happening right now. Okay, cool. So we can go where I was going to go anyway. So, fuck. Okay, never mind. There's no way I can save her. Shit, I forgot about the axe again. Shit. He's so slow! Oh my god. Damn! Miss? How the hell do you miss that? Holy shit. The way he swings the knife is so dumb. Oh my god, okay. This is not okay. Damn. He swings it like... And it takes forever and then he whiffs it. Oh my god. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have some sort of tracking on that. <laughs> right? There's no tracking, it's a massive, massive whiff. Please. Okay, let's not forget about the axe this time. It's the wrong... Here we go. Wait, what? Oh, she's inside of the building, I don't need to rush at all. Jeez, okay. And jumping over fence. Damn. Uh, let's get in there. Cool. Switch the weapon. Finish him off. Damn! Low profiling the shotgun. That's crazy. This guy's good. Did you see that? Low profile? That was crazy, dude. That guy's got some serious moves. That was crazy. That dodge. Hold me. That totally saved his life for a second there. Let's restore their life so we get rid of this red screen thing. Boink. Wait, wasn't there another guy that I didn't loot? I guess not. I thought there was four. Yeah, there is. Hmm. I guess it's over. Sheesh. Never not expecting that low profile thing there. Okay, let's uh see what we get from this. Bull crap. I don't trust her. Arigato. Taskata wa. Mo dame ka to omotta. Daijoubu da. Ochitsuke. Nani ga okiteru? Shiranai wa yo. Dou natteru no? Kotchi ga kikitai kurai yo. Ano na. Ore wa kita bakari de. Anta ijou ni konran shite runda. Araso. Namae wa? Sebastian da. Sebastian Castellanos. She's not real, right? Mo ga konran shite ru wa. Oh, 
アジア系のジョイと話してた次に気づいたら知らない服を着て知らない町にいた私の夫だっていう人に逃げろって言われて私は独身よこれは現実じゃないそんなはず Okay, I'm getting a little bit confused. <clears throat> as, as I shoot, probably, in this game. The thing is that the city is a construct, and its citizens should be as well, if I'm understanding this correctly. So she's either not real, as she's part of the city、uh, matrix, or she is another person inside the machine. But she's not part of the search team. Dialogue options, oh boy. Nine years old. 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 Me が覚めたのは数時間前か数時間か数日かオフィスにいたことしか覚えてないのオフィスってお金が必要だったから睡眠研究の被験者に採血と身体検査の後さっき言ったアジア系の女に変な質問ばかりされて一体何が起きたのかメビウスという名に聞き覚えはないわほとんど何も覚えてないから。So, I guess the denizens of this fake city matrix thing are actually all, all real people that are in the machine as part of an experiment. Whoa. I thought all those zombies and all, everything happening here is like illusion. But it would, it would appear that everybody actually is a human that went crazy in the mindscape. Well. That makes everything way, way more dark and stuff. So, to know about the city, Nanika Shanaka. Nanimo, Mitskata, Korosarit, the Kotogurai, Chikazakanai Kotoyo. Dokoka Kiruka, Wagaruka. Oto that the Yotoko, Yosuga Okashkunatano, Nanimo Nainoni, Ushino Bakari Miteta, Sosta, Kunisake Bidaste, Hifuga, Awada Chajimetano, Osoroskata, Sikino Shunka, Osoika Katekitano. Ja. I find it kind of weird that Sebastian didn't even ask、uh, Julie Kidman about the people inside of this Unity City. Whatever. 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 No, no, no more questions, please. Let's just go. Although, I guess it's the same from the first game because in the first game, the, the entire first game also takes place in the Matrix. And all the people you meet there are also like remnants of real people. So, I guess not so weird then. Oh, a lot of handgun bullets. Okay. I guess that was worth it. I'm gonna need to drink another cup of coffee though, at this rate. <laughs> I think they should probably have saved the game, right? I think they should have saved the game, right? I think they should have saved the game, right? So let's go to the building I was going to check in the first place. That kind of reminds me, since I'm using the word check a lot. That reminds me. I was、uh, checking the Dragunov. What the hell? G4's game ready driver. Dr driver driver is available? Well, that's cool, I guess, but I'm playing a video game, Nvidia. Let me play a video game, please. As I was saying, I was、uh, checking that Blasted Salami's video on Dragunov from Tekken 7, and he used. He used the phrase keep the opponents in check a lot. And Dragunov is Russian. And Russia has、uh, had business with the Czech Republic before. So it's like the Russian officer keeping opponents in check. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself, but 
think about that. Let's take a look at this house then. Keeping enemies in check. Probably get the shotgun again. Hey, this is familiar. Bottles in the bag. Can't open the fridge. Damn. Hello, lady. You mind if I just take a look at the bathroom over here? Oh, yeah. You got heels? Oh, yeah. Bathrooms usually have a med kit there. Oh. Are we entering another spooky event? Like the other building with memories? Let's get the metal pipe. Yeah, here's another diary entry of Sebastian. So we're gonna get some uh, cool things happening right now. Mm -hmm. Nani? <laughs> the chairs are children. Woman's Journal. Oh, so it's not Sebastian's. The final entry of this diary penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it, but I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there. I'm afraid to stay in here too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? I really like this television noise thing going on with the objects. Oh my god, that is... That is cool. The quick movement towards the camera is the worst shit, man. Right? That's the worst shit. So I guess I can... I can't kill this, huh? Let's turn off the flashlight, motherfucker. And it sings! Yo, the music, it reminds me of Mikolaj from Bloodborne a lot. It walked through the door. I have to follow her? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Seriously? I have to follow her into that door. Try not to bump these uh, bottles. Oh my god. Is there a song by Gorillaz? It reminds me of one of those. Oh, 
there's a hole. She can walk through doors, so I should probably move it quickly. There's a picture of my family. Got him! I mean, just gotta use this thing. Sealed hospital ward key. Oh, wait a minute. It's a key for the mental beacon hospital? Beacon mental hospital? Does that mean the Sebastian actually is still locked up in a fucking psych ward? She's over there. It's cool. We don't need to go there. You can take. Get the icon out of here. I can't see shit. It's going to the left. this now I'm glad I spent those points on the sneaking uh, freaking speed up right let's get out of here let's get out of here but the shit whoa that was a weird opening animation as in there was no animation for opening so these are things from the first game Okay, that was cool. And all this happened without loading screens from the open map. I keep stressing this because this is so cool. And I don't want this to just fly over everybody's head. This is so awesome. This needs attention, you know. Uh, pornographic slide. Okay, we're gonna look at that. Jeez. This game is really cool, man. Really, really cool. Also, I think that this is completely optional. You don't have to do this at all. Probably. Because there's just a random building. I'm supposed to follow a signal over here. And I've been doing all this stuff that is completely optional, as far as I can tell. It's just you get extra information and things, but you don't have to do any of this. Or maybe you do. This is a key item, so this might be necessary. I, I'm not sure. We'll find out later, I guess. But we got a new slide to check. This game is sweet. This game is freaking sweet, man. And I'm super glad I'm playing this on the Nightmare difficulty. It makes everything way more intense and memorable too. Okay, I feel like I can breathe for a for a second. Actually, yeah, let's let's take a breather. I've been streaming for two hours. Huh. Yeah, the piano really remind me of Mikolaj. That is that is probably my one of my like top three themes from Bloodborne. Mikolash's boss theme. It's so good. Because the way it like... The way it gradually builds tension and... Just intensity. So good. Okay, so there are new enemies. There are some dudes in this direction. That's a hanged person, that's fine. Ish. By that I mean it's not dangerous for me. It's not like the dude is on the roof. Or... Can I open this? No. It's not like the dude's on the roof or something. I was there before. That's where you find... <laughs> 
fuck is this game? I love this game so much. It keeps surprising me. I love surprises, man. I've been playing video games for my entire life and it takes it takes like extra work to surprise me with anything. This game just keeps doing it. Wait, is this another encounter with the Oh my god, she's on the roof. Dude, what the fuck? This game is so good. How do you... I have goosebumps. It's... I can't even tell you when was the last time I played a horror game and I actually had goosebumps and shivers down my spine. I can't remember. It was probably like Fatal Frame on the PS2. And that's probably it. And that was like, I don't know, 10 years ago or some shit. It's just the open map and they switch between two planes of like graphical uh, style and there's like completely new uh, like enemy placement and everything. This is so, so crazy. I'm so impressed with this game. I'm so impressed. Though at the same time I do have to remember that the AI sometimes takes a huge dump when it's in the open map. That is true. So there's definitely room for improvement, but holy shit, this is special. This game is special. The first game was just like, a, you know, a better Resident Evil 4 with more interesting progression through the levels. And obviously like better graphics and stuff like that. But it wasn't really anything new. This thing. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay, so here we go. Here's the thing that I could not deal with before, and I just—I guess I just have to walk through this. Yeah. Now there's gonna be an enemy placement. Oh, it's this girl. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Talking about when I, when I talk about the AI being derpy. But uh, I'll take this as an opportunity to attack. Again! Do it again! Oh, is she done? Oh, okay. Damn. Am I glad I spent the points on the rate of fire of the shotgun? So basically you can disarm this, but it's uh, just uh, like a encounter you can trigger as you choose. It's interesting. It's like a voluntary side encounter, optional encounter, I guess, for extra supplies. Shotgun ammo pouch. We'll never run out of ammo for the shotgun, but uh, I guess if we do, I mean, if we don't, I guess we can gather more ammunition. Okay, cool, take it. This makes me, makes me believe that we will be able to enter this uh, this house at some point, but not right now. I have to climb the ladder to get down. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking like... Uh, so I always talk about how much I play Warframe lately, right? And that game gives you some insane movement options for your character. And it's a third-person shooter, basically. So I'm wondering if you, if you would do the same thing for a horror game, would it still be tense? Could it still be tense? And scary. I think it could, but you'd have to balance the encounters around all those movement options. So I'm not even sure how would the game look like. Oh, I can move this. What the hell? 
Okay, here's a hole in the fence. So let's move this. Why not? Because there is one game that I think that tried to give you more buff main character with more options for movement and combat. And as far as I know, nobody liked it. And that's Silent Hill 5 Homecoming. Now that game has had some other problems too. Oh shit, everybody's waking up. Because they heard me talking shit about Silent Hill 5, huh? I don't necessarily dislike that game. It's always like when there's this uh, huge franchise and then things start to change for one reason or another. A lot of people have this hugely violently negative reaction. And I always try to keep an open mind and unless it's like really shitty, then I, I think I can still have fun have, I can still have fun with it. So I still did have some fun with like Dead Space 3, but that game definitely is like super lower quality than Dead Space 2 and stuff. Wait, is this? Oh yeah, I was here already. Yeah, yeah, okay. I did check this place. I didn't enter it from there then. I don't think. Well, I guess eventually we will have to go here. But there's still more stuff to be checked. This area over here. All these buildings are checked out. Then there's the auto shop. And there's the party truck. So I guess we could do... Oh, also there's the dungeon here. I do have a pass code, pass key. But I don't know if it's going to work for the dungeon. Oh, Mort is playing Warframe. Nice. I really am enjoying the game right now, a lot. So much in fact that it completely made me not care about Destiny 2 for now. Pretty sure that I do want to play Destiny 2, but I think I'm gonna wait for some uh, Game of the Year edition with some expansions in the base, with the base edition of the game for the PC. So I'm gonna give it a few months and then gonna jump on that. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's check the safe house. I'm gonna drink some coffee. I'm gonna try the dungeon. And then we're gonna go check out the party truck. I think it could work. So for the hiccups. Also, I think I should have enough juice to get some upgrades. Yeah, 7,000. Can get some stuff. the coffee first. And it's a big ass mug. That's at least like half a liter, right? Wait, do I have any body parts? No, not really. Okay. Uh, do I get the upgrades first? Or do I have any keys? I think I have one. The keys are not shown here. What about in the inventory? Yeah, I have one locker key. Yeah, let's try the dungeon first. Nah. Get a password. Hmm. Password, huh? Oh, I also have the new uh, phonographic slide. Let's take a look at that. There's a reward after that too, so let's let's get some lore and some items. I think it's a good trade. Right, so that's the fire that was apparently staged. So Sebastian would think that his child, Lily, is dead. <laughs> リリーが生きてるなんて信じられん。あの火事は。リリーは死んだりしてない。もう分かってるでしょ。それは俺の頭と長年見てきた悪夢に言ってくれ。なぜリリーを選んだ。世界中にいる子供の。That is my question. Why her? なぜ娘を答えられないわ、セバスチャン。リリーは私が入る前にさらわれている。偶然なんて信じないでしょうけど。
理由があると思うのはあってほしいと思っているからかもね知ってるはずよ特別な理由もなく起きてしまう事件もある運悪くその時その場所に居合わせただけいやそうは思わないとにかくあの火事のことは忘れてセバスチャンあれはあなたのせいじゃないそしてリリーも失ったりしてないそれを忘れないで Yeah, she's either, she's either hiding something or she actually doesn't know. But I think his wife knows. Thank you for the gel. Thank, Thank you for the gel, Neko chan. Let's take a look at the nurse. The old nurse. And the locker room. Phonographic slides. <laughs> we need to stop meeting like this. What is she implying? What is she implying? Wowie! 150 body parts. That's a lot. She's actually commenting on the fact that I'm speaking for stealth. Dude, this game is too good. It's too fucking good, man. Okay, portable, good night, man. Thanks for watching once again. Man, I am. I'm impressed, like, at every corner with this game. What the hell? That's 12,000 smackaroos. Oh, man. Yeah, I'd like to get the kills from the cover. That sounds great. Oh, we can see a mechanic, huh? Cover near wall, sneak kill when the sneak kill icon is displayed. Okay. When you are in a cover in a corner, you can perform a sneak kill on an enemy that is around the corner. The enemy must be in the center of the screen for the sneak kill icon to appear. Cannot perform a sneak kill if the enemy is aware of you. Sense? Now, what else can we get here? Oh, yeah. Let's get the brawler upgrade. Push kick. Hmm. Sounds good. We can eventually have double damage for this. Hmm. Less kickback when firing weapons. Eh. About health. I did get some health already. Total health recovered is increased. I think that's better than the speed of the upgrade. Oh yeah, this is second chance. Suppose you upgrade that makes you re restore the life faster, I think. Oh yeah, there's the... Oh, here's the dodge, huh? Man, what a shame that the dodge isn't active. It's a passive thing that sometimes kicks in. Stamina recovery. Oh, stamina recovery increase. Oh, here is it. Here it is. Recovery speed regenerating from near death. It's really slow, but the problem, the bigger problem is that it takes forever to actually kick in. I think I'm gonna get the stamina, yeah. I'm running around a lot. And I want that dodge. For sure. Okay, let's, let's, let's go then. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Get to do some more mods here. Ammo capacity. Oh, 400 bars for more damage. Oh, damn, that's a lot. Mm, firepower for the shotgun. Kinda like that. You know, the sniper rifle is probably gonna be dealing a lot of damage if I would do this. Then again, the animation is really expensive to make. Range. 
much charge time. I think I'm just gonna upgrade the shotgun damage. It's 5%, but it's probably not bad because it's 5% per per like single pellet of the shotgun spread. So it's probably a bit better than it appears at the first glance. At least I hope anyway. Okay, fire rate of this, let's do this. Okay, that looks good. Okay, do I want to make ammo? Can I make ammo? Not really, but maybe. Out of shotgun shells, that's bad. Let's get more sniper bullets. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's save the game again. And then the uh, manual save. And now we will investigate the